So, as I kind of expected, Kuroko was the best show of today. I have not watched Rolling Girls, though. So take that into consideration when I'm making this statement. It was better than Durara, and, uh, in terms of presentation... Oh, my lord. <laughs> Did you see the animation in some of these scenes? Like when uh, it went through Kasumatsu's legs, uh, when Kisei w uh, did the move, when Kisei was doing his moves. Like, legit. Uh, this is something that I would like to call it, uh, hashtag never choppy. It was so good. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, just to see Kuroko animated like that just gave me fangasms everywhere. The scenes just looked amazing. Like the, like the scenes that looked like that, the cinematography was just so good. They did a really good job on emphasizing certain plays. But I do have a couple of complaints. Uh, number one, was that one model at the beginning of the game, like right before they started? I swear, it looked like a skinnier version of Kiyoshi. That was it. It's all it really looked like to me. Don't know if that's reusing the same model or whatever. Bald guy look ugly as fuck. Get your bitch ass on the fucking bench. I also, this is probably my biggest complaint of the entire thing. So, we all know what Hayazuki's move is. I already knew what this was. I'm a manga reader. I know what's gonna happen. Uh, and this was one of the things that I was saying I'm prob- I, that I knew I was going to end up getting mad about. This and when, uh, when Akashi f plays. When you see Akashi play, that's going to be the other time that I'm probably going to go on in like a gigantic rant. Uh, but it, I don't know if I would call it gigantic, but whatever. Uh, but ha the ability to steal somebody's fundamentals, is it just makes no sense. Now, they did explain it. Uh, him changing the move to his liking throws off somebody else's. But that is, it, no. That's like, in a sense, somebody watches you write, and then they learn how to write, but they write differently. And because they write diff differently than uh, you wrote and they watched you write, you can't write anymore. Or another example, you eat, alright? So somebody else, uh, like, you chew with your mouth uh, closed, and they smack with their uh, mouth open. So because they smack with your mouth, uh, uh, with their mouth open, you are now unable to uh, chew with your mouth closed. You get it? It makes no sense. You can't steal somebody's fundamentals. That's not possible. If it was simply copying it like Kisei's is, uh, Kisei also has a second ability, and they'll get to that probably at the end of next episode, but he, Kisei's second ability makes a lot, it makes total sense, I have no problem with it, uh, but this special ability makes no sense whatsoever for the reasons I explained, and that was really one of my problems, and I know Kuroko is over the top, a lot of Kuroko doesn't make sense, but in a sense, a lot of Kuroko is also just kind of symbolism to other things in basketball. All, it's really just exaggerations. But this isn't an exaggeration. This makes no sense, and this character, Haizuki, has way too much power for something that it, it, it's just not needed. Something like this in the story just doesn't need to exist. Yo, the way Hayakawa talked, that was funny. <laughs> He's like, I will! Do better on the next blood. It's just funny to watch. There was also that part where uh, Murasaki Bura had that aura at the beginning. Uh, overall, I think that this was a really good episode. I don't like Kaizuki as a... Not necessarily like he's a bad character. I just don't like him. No one likes Haizuki. I also liked how the flashbacks were oriented. I still love the opening. And there were a couple of changes with the lighting too. I did notice that they did emphasize the lighting a lot more than they usually did in the first season. So that was also something that I watched. Only other complaint was that time skip at the end. Where it was just like it showed Kisei on the ground of the court. But we never saw... Uh, Kisei even walk out of the locker room, let alone know what happened on that court. So the time skip is just kind of jarring, but whatever. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces!